Hi, it's Andy Black here. In this video, I'm going to go through how to do a bit of keyword research and how I would categorize the keywords that I download um, into sort of segments of keywords that I may create campaigns for or ad groups for. So I've got a test and training account that I created yesterday. There's absolutely no spend in it. I haven't added credit card details, added no campaigns. By default, it's using the new interface, which I don't like. So for the moment, I'm going to, while they, while they, are, while they allow it, I'm going to go back to the previous interface and go to tools, keyword planner. So to get access to the Google AdWords keyword planner, you need to create an AdWords account, but you don't have to have any spend. Um, I've got an idea of like the keyword research I want to do is, and it's to do with project management, project management, or, oops, hold on, PMP. And then I'm going to do courses, training, questions, mock, um, mock questions, um, quiz maybe, I don't know, project management, courses, training, questions, exams, exam tips. And I want to do it for online. And get the search volume. So what this is going to do is Google is going to come up with all the permutations from list one, multiply by list two, and then list three as well. And I'll just yeah, I'll leave that to target in Canada and the US. I think in the UK we'd use prints two rather than PMP. I could put that in, but whatever, we'll just go with this. So we get the results back of all these permutations, but what we don't get back is any suggestions underneath. So what I'll often do is have a look at this and download those into Excel, which I'll open now. Right. Um, that's that. So now I've got those keywords. I can go back, modify the search, and enter them all in here. So what I was doing there was using Google's three lists to come up with the permutations. I'm sure there's some tool online, or maybe I'll make one, where you can enter stuff in list one, list two, list three, and it will come up with all the permutations. But now I've entered them specifically as keywords, I can see all these suggested ones underneath that Google's also thrown in. So now what I'll do is download all of that, all 685 of them, and I'll analyze that now. Right, so I'll best fit everything. Um, I will freeze from there, make it a little bit smaller. This sort of stuff I'm not interested in. And I'll put has data, because I only want to look at the stuff that has data in it. So control and down takes me to the bottom. There we go, 665. Now, some of them are going to have PMP in them, some of them are going to have project management. And I want to find, oops, find PMP in the keyword there. So I find H01 and B02. If it can't find it, then I want it to be blank. Get some of those formulas in there. Right, so these ones I can find it. It finds it the first character, excellent. If it if all of that is not blank, then whatever's in cell H1 otherwise leave it blank. Okay. So all I'm doing is finding checking to see if whatever's in that cell is it within the keyword. If it is, whatever's in that cell that pops up in this column here. <clears throat> And when I have nothing in it, I get this kind of error. So I'll have if j$1 is not blank, then do that. Otherwise, just leave it blank. Right. So now I can copy that a few more times. Let's fit everything again. 
insert a category as being that with a space and then that with a space, that with a space. formula so I know not to overwrite it. Right, I'll grab all of this, insert pivot table, okay, put the category here and we can see there's some blank ones, that's the rows underneath where there is no category. Okay, so that's why I added that has data column because I can just put that here and say I only want to analyze this stuff that has data in it. So it disappeared then I can add the keyword in and the average monthly search is here. I will format that so that it is numeric without two decimal places and a comma between thousands. Change the layout. I always do this so that it's in two columns instead of category and keyword under, being underneath each other. Then I'll sort the categories by the descending, by the average monthly searches, and sort these by average monthly searches as well. Right, so now if I collapse everything, you can see 242,000 impressions. This is Canada and the US for month, a particular month. Um, that's what they estimate the number of search searches would be, and PMP is 200,000. And PMP and project management, there was some that had both. Okay, oh, certification, right, so we've got course, certification, all the things I typed in, we've got online's important. Well, the course, certification, I think I have question, questions, question will pick it up as well, question. Training, maybe tutorials. I forgot to type that in, but maybe it'll pop up. So if I refresh this, collapse all that again. Well, I'm starting to fill out, and I will freeze this. As long as I scroll down, I still keep those row headings. Um, I know. Let's just say I want I was only interested in PMP stuff and not the project management stuff. What I can do is, well, first off, I could simply just copy that. Okay, let me just show what I've been doing. Everything, everything to the right of that line, I've not included in the pivot table. I just took it from there that way. I didn't bother including this. I could grab that, copy it, just shove it in there, ignore all these errors, warnings really, refresh this, look at the uh, columns here, refresh this, now I have PMP, so I can drag that into here and only look at the ones that have PMP in it, in the PMP column, so there we go, so I've instantly just got all those, um, or if you want you could put it over like this. Got the ones without PMP and ones with PMP underneath. But let's just say I want to drill down a bit more. So PMP up here. <laughs> Pick that up later. Um, all right, so this, this one here, this is all the people all the searches that contain PMP, but none of these other words. So I'm quite interested in why they're not getting categorized. What other words I'm missing? Can I spot things that are happening a lot? Exam, so I forgot to put that in. So there's exam, there's a boot camp. Guide, exam. Okay, exam's popping up a lot, so let's add exam in here. Let's fit everything again. Okay, refresh this. I'll have to expand, collapse again. Okay, so there's exam. A 
18,000, right? It's just, just why we did that. And actually, exam pops up there and there and there as well. So people who type in PMP and exam, it's not just these guys, it's all of this as well. Um, what, I, what I like to do is keep going until this top one isn't hasn't got the most volume. Right, so maybe we've got requirements, we can just trying to th find stuff that might come up more often. So boot camp twice. Sample, we've got test, test. Okay, test, test again. Okay, so test. And I'll add a few more of these columns. Get rid of those. So it's uh, boot camp. I noticed it was boot space camp, and then the other one was boot camp, all one word. So now I've done added those, I'll have to include them. Requirements, application, management, study, not classes, study, study material, study, study again, study, requirement, right, okay, I'll just put study in and then we'll be done with this. Because I have that extra column there for PMP, oops, here, I can actually get rid of this one, get rid of those two. So we know everything is PMP and it's going to be online course, etc. Right, and what I'll do is insert a parent category column here. Look for Okay, yeah, it was find, look for a space in this. So the seventh character. We'll do everything to the left of the space minus one. Couldn't find a space there, so what I'll do is if error put J10. Go. Now, if I refresh, parent category is going to pop up. Put parent category here. Sort these by that same order. Let me get rid of that total, don't we? Subtotal in. And I can expand, collapse all of that, expand, collapse all of that for the minute. So, certification. So people are looking for, gosh, this is high, isn't it? Hmm. It's about questions. Right. I could put question first. Let's say I was most interested in people looking for questions. Get rid of it there. Then it's going to be the leftmost word here, and then it'll be the parent category will be question. Right, so that's got slightly more, I guess. Um, so PMP exam questions, just PMP questions on its own. PMP Test right, so it kind of goes off long tail, gets a lot lower down here. If I look at this, what have we got? The word free can be important, pops up. Sample questions and answers. T 
time management, risk management. So there's obviously areas within PMP um, that people are interested in. Even though it's not a lot of people searching, it gives us an idea of what we could put in the ad. So for instance, if people are looking for sample questions online, we know that they're a lot of them are looking for exam exam questions. So even when they're looking just for questions, an ad that an ad that says exam questions is going to appeal to them because that's what a lot of people are typing in. That's what's in, on their mind anyway. So maybe even free if there is free one free ones to download or something like that. So it'd be P an ad copy that might come up with might be free PMP exam questions. Download them here or something if if they're free and then site links or call outs or other things you might mention the areas time management risk management etc etc um, what else are people concerned about certification questions yeah okay so you'd add certification somehow to the ad gets you know an easy uh get certification easier blah 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 by downloading the questions whatever that's awful but try and throw certification in because that's something that's on their mind and it might well be that these people, there's less searches because they're more, uh, they're further along the, uh, the buying life cycle. They originally looked for exam questions and then over time they went, oh no, I, I want to find certification questions. I don't know if they're actually different than just the standard ones. Anyway, that's a very quick way that I can download data from the Google Keyword Planner. Uh, like I use their tool to concatenate or create Cartesian joins for your IT dudes out there of like lists then I'll grab that load it back in get all the suggestions additional suggestions load them in down into Excel get rid of a few columns I don't want and then I'll just create some columns that allow me to categorize all those search terms and then see the suggested vol um, the estimated monthly exact match searches and then when I do that I can then sort of categorize and okay let's just stick with PMP rather than project management and maybe if we wanted to look at questions what are people looking at and what could I put in the ads 